What's going on guys? The Galaxy Z Fold 6 is a truly excellent device and given that that is true and given how much this thing is actually capable of doing, you might want to grab yourself a whole bunch of accessories for this device and that's why in this video we're going to run down my favorite accessories for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and we're going to start off with a skin for this device. This is a website called Soapy Guard, and I have used Soapy Guard. I don't know how this is pronounced. Soapy Guard, Soapy Guard, S O P I Guard. You figure it out from there. I have purchased their skins over the years a whole bunch of times. Think D brand, but a little bit thinner and quite a bit cheaper. You can see here that they have all manner of different sort of styles as well. Like I said, I've bought several of these over the years. I think that my Surface Duo 2 is currently still using this faux leather style. I'll show you kind of what that looks like in person. And for $10, if you want to keep your device very thin, you just want to skin the thing, give it a bit more texture on the backside, this is a great place to start, but maybe you want to go a little bit more premium. Maybe you want to get a little bit thicker. Maybe you want to have real actual leather. At that point, D brand is probably a really good place for you to go as well. They have all kinds of different skins, many of which don't load. We'll jump to this view where you can actually see them. They have all kinds of different styles for this. And of course they have my favorite, which is the real tan leather. I don't know why these are just not loading. I guess I'll just show you the real tan leather on my Pixel Fold since their website appears to be somewhat broken. At any rate, their cases are a little bit more expensive. We'll grab one here. You can see $24.95 and the leather skins do go up from there, but they are very, very high quality and I can vouch for them uh, directly as well. If you want to stick with the thin aesthetic, something that doesn't add a whole lot of bulk to your device, but does give an additional layer of protection and also adds a MagSafe ring, you might look at something like the Thinborn Aramid Fiber Case. I've actually got one of them here, and this has been on my Z Fold 6 off and on since I got it. As you can see, it is MagSafe compatible, which is really nice. It is extraordinarily thin. It is 600D Aramid fiber, which is very, very premium. Okay, this is not something that's particularly great for shock absorption, but this is stuff that is used in like planes and body armor and stuff like that. Aramid fiber is extremely tough, so it is going to keep your device from getting, you know, scuffed up or something like that. And again, does not add a whole lot of uh, bulk or a whole lot of thickness. There should actually be a 15% off coupon for this particular website, so definitely keep that in mind. I've not personally used one of these, but I've heard really good things about Later Case, which is another Aramid Fiber case. I believe, I may be wrong about this, but I believe that this is 1500D Aramid Fiber, which is a little bit lower quality than the Thinborn, but it is also a little bit cheaper at $65. And you do have some color options as well, like this sort of ugly brown color. The case that's actually on my device right now is this one from Pitaka. It is another Aramid fiber case with MagSafe built in. I have the pink colorway for the Z Fold 6, and I think that this actually looks really, really good on here. I don't remember what the Aramid fiber rating was on this, but it's either 1500D or 600, something like that. Another option for Aramid fiber and MagSafe, $69 for that color and $59 for the black, and you can see actually the black is 600D. I remember now the colored ones are the lesser uh, quality aramid fiber, but you get the color, so there's your trade off. So, a little bit more bulk to introduce here, but you do get the S pin, which is a really nice value add. This is the official case for the Z Fold 6, the Z Fold 6 S Pin phone case. I did like this one quite a lot. It did a pretty good job of staying in place. It is definitely a little bit thicker than the Aramid fiber and it should give you a bit more shock absorption by virtue of that. But the biggest like claim to fame here is of course that that S Pin is right there with you at all times. A little bit on the pricey side, but you're getting the pin and the case. So that kind of makes some sense. And last but not least in the case world, I don't have this one for the Z Fold 6, but I had it for my last Z Fold. It is a silicone phone grip. It is overall 
fairly grippy, but you also get this area here that your hand slips into. It's like a little loop that you can slip your hand into, and they went ahead and added a kickstand to it as well. So if you're not a big S Pen person, but you have a big phone and it's hard to keep a grip on in particular when it's in the tablet mode, that's going to give you a grip and it's going to give you a kickstand. I really like this case a lot. Of course, one of the simplest things you can do to help protect your device is just put a screen protector on that front display. Of course, the inner display comes with one, but the outer does not. And this is the screen protector that I actually went with personally. You can see where I purchased this one on my own. I actually reviewed it and showed the installation on this channel. It has held up really well, nice and smooth on the edges. You can't tell it's there. It doesn't interfere with touch or anything like that. For $19, I think that's a really solid investment. Let's talk about things you can stick to the back of your phone that might make your life easier. I really love something called a sleek strip. You can actually see mine here. I'm not currently using it. I've stuck some paper that I can peel off to the back so that I can reapply it later. But basically what this thing does is it lives on the back of your phone. Maybe you attach it to your case, whatever it might be. And it's very, very thin, right? There's a reason it's called sleek strip. And if you push on this side here, it can actually pop up and then it gives you a grip. You can stick your hand in there and use it on the back of your phone to hold on to your phone, just giving you a nice grip. And when you're done, you just sort of pop the thing back down like that and it's back out of the way. It's a really, really nice, convenient feature that I've used on several different phones. It's a little bit on the pricey side, but to me, it was a very enjoyable accessory. You wanna talk about good investments? How about this stand that I bought four years ago for $10 and I still have it, I still use it. You see it in thumbnails for my videos, sometimes holding up phones, Amazon Basics. It's got a little button here that you press on the side and that allows you to change the angle of the stand itself. It can actually sit at, you know, fairly, uh, what, would you, what would you say, a very wide angle, maybe very low to the ground, several different possible angles. It's great. You have a very large screen. So of course it makes sense that you might want to just set it in a stand and watch a movie or something like that on it. And this thing, when it's folded up completely, could be dropped into a bag. It's not going to take up a lot of space and it's cheap. Again, I've had it for four years. I still use it all the time. Let's take that stand idea and take it to a completely different place. This thing has access to Samsung DeX, and that means that having something like a USB hub is going to be really, really useful. So you drop this thing into this stand, you plug it into the stand with the USB-C cable. You can actually plug your charging cable into the hub as well. And from there, you can display out. You can add external storage, USB ports for a mouse and a keyboard and run decks straight off of the stand. So your phone is there. It's visible and you can, you can see the screen of your Z Fold while you're also using an external monitor, a mouse and a keyboard. I've had this thing for a long time as well. And every time I've got a Z Fold, it is something that I want to kind of come back to. Such a cool accessory. And if you're using something that's MagSafe, you might want to grab a MagSafe grip. This is my Pixel 9 Pro Fold, and I have this exact MagSafe grip on the back of it right now. We can pop it off, and we can pop it onto the back of my Z Fold 6, and it's really, really useful for a big phone like this. Maybe you have it open. You've got a nice grip on the back. You could actually use it kind of as a kickstand a little bit as well, and when you don't want to use it, it can just pop right off. Super, super cool. And we do have another brand. If you don't want to do the Pataka one, you can do this Spigen one. I've actually got this thing somewhere in the house. I tried to find it earlier and I can't locate it, but I used that one for a long time as well. And I, I like the sort of concave thing going on there. It makes it a little bit easier to grab the ring than it is on this one because it sits totally flush, but that is another pretty, pretty good option. I'm going to give you two more options for a USB-C hub in case you really want to use DeX. And I kind of want to put a pin here as well because I'm going to show you all of this stuff put together a little bit later as well when we talk about an external monitor. I'm going to kind of show you how all of this stuff works in Synergy. But one other option here is this Anchor USB-C hub. As you can see here, power can run through it, display out, and several other things, external storage, USB-A. It's a very, very useful thing if you do use DeX. Another really good option is this one by Ugreen. It even has an Ethernet port on the back of it. Very similar, just a more sleek option and a different price. One bummer about modern phones is that they don't give you a charger. If I'm not mistaken, this thing charges at like 25 watts, which isn't particularly fast either. But because of that, you might need to go buy yourself a charger. Don't go crazy. Don't buy something that's really expensive. 
I would recommend buying something from a company that is relatively reputable, makes good stuff. And in this instance, we have something that is ticking those boxes, but is also kind of fun, kind of interesting. This is a little charger that is 30 watts, so not too far overkill from what you need by Ugrain. I've been using their chargers for a long time. They are super, super high quality. And you've got a little face on the front of it. There's a little screen on the front that does things, and it's just kind of cute and adorable. Its feet pop off, and there is the plug. $18.19 isn't too bad. If you want to kick things up another notch, this is a 65-watt version of it that does have two charging USB-Cs in the top and a USB-A. As you can see, I actually have one of these here. I've actually got a few of these kind of uh, littered around the house. They are really good quality, and uh, yeah, like I said, they're just kind of cute as well. <laughs> If it means anything to you, they're also gallium nitride, which means that they are of the sort of newest available technology. Something that's not quite as cute, but also does work really well is this 45 watt gallium nitride charger by Ugreen. This thing has been uh, what has been charging my phone on my bedside table for a couple of years now, and it has been absolutely excellent. Now, if you're going to have a charger that has a screen on it, you might as well have a charging cable with a screen on it as well. I've got one of these right here next to me also. It's what I've been using for a long time. And the cool thing about this is when you plug it in, it is actually going to tell you exactly what rate your device is charging at. I'm actually plugged into a Ugreen charging hub right now. And after it kind of calibrates for a second, I don't know if you can read that or not, but it says it's charging at 18 watts. It's cool. It's really useful to kind of make sure that your phone, your device is charging at its proper rate. And it's something, I think I've got like four of these around the house at this point. Really cool cable. Leaning back into that portable productivity idea using Dex, this is not the exact same brand, but it's the exact same keyboard. A lot of these Chinese accessories, it's the same exact thing sold under a different brand name. This is a keyboard that you can see is very, very small. Here is the Z Fold 6 next to it. It's ridiculously small and it folds out and it folds out again. And then you have a full keyboard. It's Bluetooth, pair it to your phone, fire up decks, or even just maybe set your phone down in one of the stands that I talked about earlier, and you can just type away on it and get work done even more quickly that way. An absolutely awesome option to pair with this in terms of thinness and portability is the Microsoft Arc Mouse. It can fold completely flat, basically open up and be totally flat. You can set this thing with the keyboard, stick it in a bag, and never know that it's there. It's a little bit on the pricey side, but man, is it portable. Another cool option that kind of brings it all together, I actually reviewed this combo on the channel a couple of months back. It is a much larger folding keyboard, but it also has a fairly low profile mouse and a carrying case. Also, Bluetooth, it can pair to multiple devices. And again, if you're doing this sort of mobile productivity DEX thing, this is a great option. And the most recent thing that I've grabbed is this Logitech Pebble 2 combo. Now this doesn't fold up, but I will say that the typing experience is very, very good. It's low profile. The mouse is also low profile and small. So again, for the umpteenth time, if you're doing the mobile productivity thing, these are great, great options. I know a lot of people get these things because the screen is huge and it's a great way to do some gaming. So we're going to talk about a couple of game controllers and we're going to start off sort of assuming that what you're doing is you're setting the device in a stand or maybe you have a kickstand on it and you're doing your gaming that way. We'll talk about gaming grips shortly after that. But this is the 8BitDo SN30 Pro. Now I've used the old one, the N30 Pro, for a long time and it is just a great controller. This is a newer upgraded version of that. I really don't think that you can go too wrong with this, but maybe you want something ridiculous, something incredibly tiny that can just be dropped into your pocket. We have the Ape Do Zero Two. Now look, with this thing, you're not gonna be like playing some competitive games. But if what you want to do is do some old school emulation, some Super Mario World or some like Pokemon, something like that, believe it or not, this thing is more comfortable than you think it's going to be. It's incredibly tiny. You can literally put it on your keychain, for goodness sake, and just have it there with you. It's fun. It's funny. I've had it for a while and it never ceases to bring me joy. For these next three, we're going to be talking about controllers that actually grip onto the device. So this first one is the Razer Kishi Ultra. It's probably the most premium of the group, and it is very, very good. The controls feel fantastic. The app that it actually goes with 
is very feature rich and does a really good job. If your Z Fold 6 is in a very thick case, it may not work with these controller grips, the Aramid fiber ones though. I've tested it and it does work with these. My biggest problem with this one is that the USB-C port is not mobile, which always makes me a little bit nervous when you're slotting the phone in, but otherwise this thing is really, really good. Now, the USB-C port is also on the right-hand side, which means that when the device is in it, you're going to be sort of hanging down below. We're going to look at one more from GameSir that sort of addresses that, as well as one more from GameSir that is very comfortable, very good, but sort of has the same problem as this. So this is the GameSir X2S. I really like this one. I don't think that the controls feel quite as good as the other two, but I do like that that USB-C port is mobile. I like that it's on the other side, which means that when your foldable is actually installed in it. You look like this instead. That is very, very good. So if you're gaming with this thing, it's a really, really nice experience and it's only $40. It's hard to say no to this one, but we also do have the G8 Galileo. It is very, very solid as well, guys. These are all very good. Again, we have that mobile USB-C port. We have some improved controls, larger sticks and everything. Really, really nice controls, but the USB-C ports on this side, which means that it's gonna hang down a little bit. Again, it fits just fine, it's gonna work just fine. And this is probably better ergonomically and splits the price difference between the two. So we've kind of talked around this next category quite a bit, but this is the Wimaxit 15.6 inch portable monitor and it is a touchscreen portable monitor. Now, one of the coolest thing about these sorts of things is that you can just grab the correct USB-C cable, and it has to be a USB-C cable that can do display out, obviously. But if you get the correct cable, which it should come with one, and you plug this thing into your Z Fold 6, your Z Fold 6 should actually power this monitor on its own, as well as driving it through decks. So you can plug this thing in, and then boom, Dex pops up on this monitor, and you can use the touch screen to do whatever you need to do within Dex. Now, we've talked about USB-C hubs quite a bit already, and if you're going to use one of those, you can use that in tandem with this as well. So phone into hub, hub into monitor, and you're able to drive it that way with accessories as well. But there are some other options. So this one here from Enosin is a little bit smaller. It's only 13.3 inches. It's more expensive, but it is also OLED, and OLED is an app absolute game changer in particular if you plan on doing some gaming with this as well. Imagine this, you plug this phone into the monitor, it is driving the monitor, you grab a Bluetooth controller, you run some emulators or something like that, and that could be a really, really nice experience also. But again, I kind of want you just to broadly imagine this scenario, phone, USB-C hub, mouse, keyboard, and this portable monitor, all of this stuff could fit into a backpack, and you've got a pretty slick little portable setup. Let's talk about car accessories. I have used this car mount for four years now and it has literally never failed me. If your car still has that old technology, the CD tray, this thing shoves into your CD tray and it can fit your Z Fold 6 because it's vertical. And I've been using this thing with everything from my Surface Duo to my Z Fold 6 this entire time. It can actually grab onto just a regular phone as well because it just clamps onto the top and bottom of it. It's very, very secure and it works really well. Now, recently I have grabbed a variant of this, which actually comes down off of the windshield. I've actually stuck it in a weird place inside a different vehicle, but nonetheless, it's the same concept, same maker, just a different way that it attaches. If you have a, a foldable and you use it in your car, this thing is an absolute must have. One of these two is probably going to serve you quite well. Easily two of my favorite purchases. And of course, when you're in your car, you might need to keep the thing charged up. And to be honest, this 63 watts is a little bit overkill for this thing, but for only $12.99, and it is a U-Green charger that you can absolutely trust. I have one of these. It is rock solid. Build quality is really nice. I think that it's a really easy no-brainer. So there you go, guys. That is my list of my favorite Galaxy Z Fold 6 accessories. As you probably expected, I do have affiliate links to all of the stuff mentioned 
in the description down below. If you click on one of those links and you make a purchase, it does earn me commission and it's a great way to help support the channel. So let me know if any of these sort of did it for you and you thought, man, I got to scroll down there and go click on that link and make a purchase. I'd love to hear which of these you think really stood out. And do you have any accessories that you think are absolute must buys for the Z Fold 6? If you do, drop that in a comment because my ultimate goal is to just sort of get more good ideas out there to Z Fold 6 users. It's so much fun buying cool things to go with your brand new phone. So throw your top accessory down there as well, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends. <laughs>